Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, let's see. Today is Tuesday, the 25th, and it's 2.35 in the afternoon. And, um, okay, I recommended Derek Prince to help some people in the past and real recently to get rid of their demons. Okay, because it is true, Christians can have demons. Most of us do. That's why we backslide, continue to smoke or drink or curse or whatever. If our demon is a demon of foul language, you may struggle with foul language and so on and so forth. Well, it was just brought to my attention, and it had been before in 2013 when I had this gal that I I kept insisting she go to Derek Prince videos to try to get to do the self-deliverance, you know, like I did. And because of him, I knew I had the spirit of Jezebel, but I needed to get help with her, and I got help. And got rid of her. And she comes out screaming loud, loud, man. Anyway, these people, okay, there are blogs, blogs. Now, you know what those are. I can start a blog, and I can say anything I want. And when I go to Google, anybody Googles the subject I'm blogging on, it's going to pull up. Now, these blogs, sometimes they're really good. There are people who put their prophecies and dreams on blogs. And those of us with discernment can read them and go, yeah, this is of the Lord. Okay, but how many blogs are on here that are just about making dolls? All right, and I might find a blog on uh, how to quilt, and it's just, this person's uh, suggestions and ways that they learned how to quilt. All right. These people that have gone on here, there's three sites that I was linked to about Derek Prince. And the only thing I'm going to say is this one. I'm not even looking at the other two. Here are comments. I'm going to read you this one comment. <sighs> this is sickening. I just watched a video with the title uh, of How to Apply the Blood. Now, this evidently is a Derek Prince video. Among other dubious statements, in several instances, Prince, that's Derek Prince, promotes the mystic idea of transubstantiation. This idea is clearly Catholic and fits into his ideas of ecumenism. I found the session more spooky than scriptural, especially the prefabricated prayers and proclamations. That's what he goes through at the end. That people recite after him to get rid of their demon. If you're serious... It's just like wanting to be saved. Person leads you through the salvation prayer, and it is a pre-made up, prefabricated prayer. Is it not? Yes, it is. All right, I'll move on. I, okay. I found the session more spooky than scriptural, especially the prefabricated prayers and proclamations I see as sort of proof that he was indeed supposed to install a certain cult. I see especially people in jeopardy who are amazed by superstitious acts and longing for deeper truth. And what is it? What is it we're supposed to do? Search for the truth. I'm a truther. I, I started to name my channel something with the word truth in it. Because if you do not develop a love for the truth, you are going to continue to fall for the lies. All right. Then this person goes on to say, there is only, there is only 
one way, truth, and life, and we find it simply in the Gospels. He doesn't mention the name Jesus. If we feel the need of further teaching, we find them in all epistles, especially of the Apostle Paul, where he ironically warns of people like Prince, who bewitches people by enchantments. If we need good interpretation, we have solid commentaries like that of McDonald's. I'd like to look that up. However, it is up to everyone to prove everything spoken or written by ordinary men. And that was written February 26th of 2017. Okay. Now, that was just a comment to the article. As I was reading the article itself, the blogs, I mean, there are some people here that are for him, some people that are agreeing with, with the blog spot. Uh, well, I'm just going to say this. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Here I am. Most of your denominations who refuse to believe they need the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues and supernatural gifts, that supernatural gifts are available, they refuse to believe this too. These are the kind of people, and it's like 90% of your churches, well-intentioned people, that have been taught wrong, they don't know the word, they do not have the Holy Spirit in them, they see people that are preaching like their prince that Christians can have demons, which is why we backslide and struggle and sin, and we need to get rid of them. And they are bashing him for what he used to be involved in. And he says, that one of the first videos I watched of him, he gives his history. He came out of it and went on his own way to do this, helping people get free from their curses. Now, I know that there is a scripture that talks about, in the New Testament, after Jesus died, um, something about there's, there's not supposed to be any more generational curses, but I would have to do research on that to know exactly what it said. As I know, there are a lot of us who still feel like we could have them if our parents were involved. Like, okay, for instance... When babies are baptized into the Catholic Church, Latin is prayed over them. And it isn't a blessing like when a child is dedicated into a Christian church. It is actually words claiming them for that religion which in its essence is saying they are for Satan. I know that's hard for y'all to believe, that some of you I know, and I'm sorry if that offends you, but that is the truth. When they pray Latin prayers over those babies, those parents do not know what they're saying. Okay, now that may not be the same thing as a generational curse, but it's still a curse. So, I'll leave that open. I have to do, you know, I would have to go back. I, it's been a long time since I've studied that, and I don't remember where the scriptures are. I'd have to look them all up again. So, let's just say there's no such thing as a generational curse. But as you grow up, I was in the sixth grade, got involved with Catholic girls, loved to do it, seances and play with Ouija boards, when we had our sleepovers, very popular back then, 
and I probably got a demon then. I don't know what kind it would have been. Something from the occult. Okay, so I was prayed over in Latin as a baby. Played with the occult when I was in the sixth grade. I married a man I was told not to when I was 18 years old. The Lord told me to break up with him. And I tried. But I was just too wimpy. I wasn't bold like I am now. I'm still not bold enough. So I married him anyway. And, I, you know, I could go on, but my, my testimony is on uh, way back in 2013. You can see it. You can find it easy enough. My testimony it says some things. And how I probably picked up more occult. I don't know what that does to a Christian. I, I know it. It interferes with your walk. You'll be blinded to seeing some things that you need to see. Um, you'll struggle with some kind of sin. I mean, it, they do all kinds of things. If nothing else, they could cause doubt and confusion. Is that not bad enough? Yeah, I'd say it is. They could cause you to lose your faith. The first thing that happens, if you have a demon that's messing with your brain, giving you thoughts, and you don't recognize it because they're so subtle, then you see, oh man, this guy has helped me so much. And I want to thank Born for Battle 74, my brother Chris. He's the one that told me about this man. And I went to him, when I went to Derek Prince videos, I listened to so many, I couldn't get enough until I got rid of my demons. I'm telling you, you talk about spiritual warfare, most of these lukewarm churches hate it because who's at the head of them? Who's running those churches? Satan. So those preachers, are, their heads are filled with lies. They go to them seminaries, and who knows what they have to do. Maybe they have rituals. I don't know. I don't know. I've never asked my brother if he had to go through any kind of ritual, or did they just learn, sit there and learn. And by sitting there and learning and agreeing with what they were taught, did that curse them? I don't know. Anyway, I've said enough. If you have a problem with sin, or people are telling you you've got a demon, I suggest you go look up Derek Prince videos on self-deliverance. And you watch all of them you can, and don't go back to any of the others until you get rid of your demons. And that is my suggestion and I'm going to stand by it I plead the blood of Jesus which these people obviously don't believe is a thing to do but it is it's one of our spiritual weapons good grief mystic enchantment my butt oh, excuse my language I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection and over each and every one of you as well I wish they wouldn't do that over each and every one of you as well. Okay, I'm going to end it here, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.